I'm Don, and you're watching Erie Extreme. It's been a long summer just sitting around waiting to go ice fishing. Well, we got the opportunity. We got a challenge from Bill to come down to his neck of the woods and fish an ice fishing tournament. But the catch is, we have to win it. Terry and Bree are busy tomorrow, so I got Nate coming all the way up from Columbus, Ohio. We got to get up super early and we're heading to a little lake called Canadota. And that's what's coming up on Erie Extreme. Let's go. Uh. I'm Dave, and for the past 20 years, I've traveled the country fishing bass tournaments for a living, and nothing else compares to the spot where I was blessed to be born and raised. So I've gathered up a few old friends. Oh yeah. <laughs> and we're having an absolute blast as we rediscover my old stomping grounds. Doing things we've never done before. Going places we've never gone before. Yeah, baby! Basically, just goofing off in this awesome place we call home. This is Eerie. Eerie Extreme. Hey, bud. It's time. You want to go have fun? Yeah. Get up. We gotta go. We got crappies. To I just fell asleep. <laughs> you did. Okay, so by now, you probably know we never turn down a good challenge, especially when it involves a little friendly competition. Hey, what are you doing? Hey. I'm getting ready. Do you have cleats? I do. I haven't found them yet. Do you want me to grab some? Because I got like a whole bunch of different sizes. Jerry posted a video checking the ice. You know, I saw him walking around on there. It was kind of slushy on top. Okay. So just leave them? Yeah. All right. The truck's getting kind of full anyway, so. Don't need the cleats. Got all the tackle ready. All right, here comes Kirk. Four o'clock in the morning. It's nice that he's on time unlike everybody else. Hopefully we can fit everything, just throw it in. Now we're going to put the suitcase. The suitcase, <laughs> yeah. Kirk's coming along with us, and between me and him, we packed like we're never coming home. So the, the, our challenge is to simply win the tournament. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that'll ever happen. In fact, neither part of this two-part challenge is going to be easy. Call Mark Graziano. Calling Mark Graziano, mobile. Hello? Morning, sunshine. Good morning. Do you have cash? Enough cash to sponsor me and Nate today? I'll wear your logo on my shirt. Kirk doesn't want to sponsor us. He doesn't believe in the mission. Yeah, I can spot you. <clears throat> Okie doke. We got us a sponsor. We've arrived. All right, we are here. Fishing license, driver's license, ibuprofen, and coffee. <laughs> We're going right here to this parking lot, but sometimes it's, the ice isn't real good there because there's that creek that comes in. You're going on the other side. Yeah. Who's your buddy? We got, a, we got new blood. It's my dad, Mark. Mark, you're both yeah. Mark? Yeah. yeah. That's going to get confusing. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jerry Van Tass, owner of Timberland Bay. This is the 13th annual ice fishing tournament that we held uh, on Canada Lake. My tournaments cost $25 to enter. That includes lunch. It's just gonna be a good time. Hey, we're looking for a sponsor today. Um, I forgot my wallet. Do you do that kind of stuff? <laughs> I'm not kidding. We need funding or we can't play. Are you the guy to beat today? Is this pretty cutthroat competition, or is it? It's one of the hardest lakes to fish. Is it really? How many are you gonna catch? Look this way. Look this way. You're not in the post office, are you? You need the big one. You need the big one. Are you gonna win? Are we gonna see you later? Can we film your post tournament uh, recap? Are you fishing? Yeah, I'm fishing. Are you gonna win? I don't know. Man, you guys are the least cockiest people I've ever met in my life. So what's your categories? Uh, musky, northern pike, walleye, perch, and crappie. Are all, the, all the crappies out in the basin? They're all deep, right? We're going out in front of the swamp hole. Swamp hole? Swamp hole? Like stink hole? What do we need, a 13 and a half to win? Are they that big still? Crappies. Uh, I've yeah. lost some 15 inches out Oh, there. really? There's some big ones in there. Oh, there's some monsters in there. They're hard to find. Though. What are you fishing for? Musky. What do we have to do? Seriously, are you gonna sponsor us? We need 50 bucks. <laughs> are you gonna sponsor us? Who's gonna, no, he is, right? I got you. You're sponsoring us. Are you hey, sponsoring sure you us or loaning us money? Loaning. We gotta get that straight. Is, is this a loan? This is on camera, so loaning. <laughs> <laughs> and how deep is the ice? Uh, it's eight to 10 solid. Really? 12 inches in some spots. Okay. Thursday, there's a little slush on top of it, but it's gonna be very slippery. It won't be slippery today, though. 
Oh, yeah. It will be? Oh, yeah. Dang it, you talked me out of bringing the ice cleats. <laughs> it's gonna be slippery. Wait, you didn't bring them? No. no I brought mine. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks big time. Sorry. Man. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> Funny? No. Apology accepted? Sure. But people have been seriously injured and even killed by falling on the ice. Look it up. Are you going to catch them today? <laughs> I'm going to kill them today. Are you going to last? We got 12 hours out. Uh, that's what my wife said. She yeah. said, You're going to be able to hang? So if you see some a body on the ice that's me sleeping. <laughs> this ticket that you buy will include your lunch. We're gonna have pulled pork, we're gonna have chili, oh, really? sauerkraut, hot dogs. My mother made a ton of homemade cookies. You guys want a cookie? They're right here. Who stuck the pen up that poor animal's butt? <laughs> GPS signal lost. That's because we're in the boondocks. All righty. Okay, we'll see hey, you. Hey, yep. thanks a lot. Yep, thank you. you. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, nice yeah, meeting you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yep. if there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Yep. Thank yep. you. Yep. You guys fishing the derby? Yeah. You're going to win? Uh, I doubt it. You're going to win? Hey, we got a cocky one. Thanks. Tell us a fish story. Why do you think you're going to win? Now the camera's here. Now you don't think you're going to win Come on, anymore? Brad! You're not going to win? You're going to let her beat you? Yeah, I'm going to let her win. Okay. <laughs> That's nice of you. Good luck, guys. You know what they say, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> yep. Good to know. Do they also say life would be great? If we had a brain? We didn't leave the tripod in there, did we? Really? We left the tripod over at the tackle shop. Who's in charge of that? Oh, boy. Well, on the bright side, if Skippy was here, we'd have left the camera there, too. We're here butt crack early to make sure we get a good parking spot. They're expecting around 200 entries today. Well, I got 72 pairs of cleats in my garage. Yeah, cleats would be nice. That's a breeze. This is 22 feet here too. So cool, we don't have to drill holes to see how deep it is. We can start fishing at 7 a.m. 20. Don't bring your cleats, Dave, you won't need them. It's not slippery. Uh, not having cleats is definitely slowing us down. Oh well, is what it is. Time to get the rods out. Please support our Erie Extreme partners. Marquette Savings Bank. We create website design and marketing. The Avonia Tavern. Fishing Online. Bentley Tree Care. East End Angler. Palmero Toyota. The Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Driscoll Tax and Accounting. RW Petruso Hearing and Audiology. And Visit Erie. It's a beautiful day. This episode is sponsored in part by Someday I'll Tackle. What's under your bobber? So we drilled a few holes in the part of the lake that I think gives us the best chance at a big crap. How much time do we got? We need a timekeeper. I'm going to be the first one in. 15 Seven. Seven. There it is. Okay. Boom. And we're off. You can hear all the loud gas augers in the distance. And I'm telling you, lithium is the only way to go. I'm, I'm thinking we need to go. Let's go like this the whole way out. Zigzag. I'm not the only one entered in the derby today. Yeah, we're getting deep. Go this way. Kirk, Nate, and Mark are also in. Our first group of holes didn't pan out, so Kirk's helping me drill a bunch more. I'm, I'm thinking we need to go. Okay, we're in 40 right here. So let's definitely just get a bunch of them right in here. I've only ice fished here a handful of times, so it's taken a while to find the deepest area but we found it. So now it's just a matter of dotting this whole area with as many holes as we can. Nothing. So the basic idea is to fish fast, as many holes as possible, as quick as possible. And what's cool about the Markham is I don't have to fish. I can just look, if there's not one there, I move on to the next hole. We just drilled a million holes out here and we're just gonna walk from one hole to the next, looking for crappies. We're fishing a tournament. You got the adrenaline rush going? Boom, fish number one. These fish travel in numbers, so that's a great sign. Little tournament fish. It's a nice one, but not the winning size. We need a 13-incher, according to our new friends from this morning. Since that first fish, we've had 10 more bites in less than 30 minutes. It's apparent we're going to have a fun day at least, but winning is fun, and I'd like to do that. Can we do that? I've snagged myself in the back. Thanks, Mac. Okay, so there's a fish looking at my bait. Watch Nate here. P 
pure joy right there. I'm just wondering what he's going to do when he catches one. <laughs> so awesome. No idea, but yeah, that was pretty cool. I do snow angels. Do another snow angel, I got to. I'm gonna do it with a crafty. Oh, come on, let's do it. Here he comes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. I'll tell you what, though, that's fun. And there it is. Oh, yeah. Now, don't assume that's little because we're in a high stakes derby right here. Okay. Yeah. Well, that means it's big. It's right there. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Catch him. <gasps> Catch him. Yeah. It's a keeper. Nice one. So Nate catches his first ice crappie. And these people think they're going to walk right on by? Hey. Don't think so. Hey. Are you guys crazy? Will you do snow angels with me and him on the ice right here? On camera? Huh? Camera's on right there. On. Just snow lay down angels. right there and everybody do snow angels. Oh. Will you do it? Do. Yeah, let's do it. Ready? Ready, Nate? No. Yeah, snow angels. Ready? No, it everybody, not. you do snow angels? Oh, snow <laughs> angels. <laughs> like this. You lay on your back. You ever do it? <laughs> Nate, do snow angels. <laughs> Nate, you missed out because that was phenomenal. There's a hundred thousand of them. got a school of crappies down there. The problem is it's 172 feet deep and we're using 64 ounce baits that take a half hour to get down there. But they're starting to bite. It's afternoon. You got to separate yourself. Get down in there on them. Don't let them look at it too good. Okay, come on, catch one. Yeah. <laughs> GoPro, start recording. Oops. Fun, 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 blah, blah, blah. Is there anything better? Oh, shouldn't have got cocky. This is a crappy smackdown today on Canadota. Oh, you got one. <laughs> That's awesome. That one on Nate's rod. That's a nice one. That is nice. I just got back from Texas yesterday. Nice I'm Dave. You, Dick Perry. Nice to meet you. Watch your show every week. Thank you. Fishing good or no? Uh, I got a couple small walleyes, just little fellas. Oh, really? Yeah, these are the first holes we drilled. All those are ours. <laughs> it's starting to look like Swiss cheese out here. Can you imagine drilling them by hand? We're down to just a little over an hour and a half right now, and the winning crappy so far is a whopping 11 and a quarter inches. It's not 13, but that's a stud. We have a dozen that are within a quarter inch of that. So we're definitely around the right size fish, but the clock is flying. Kirk, what time is it about? We got some work to do if we're gonna win the derby. Hour and a half left. Did you see those people doing snow angels with me? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what are you crazy? Amazing. I haven't done snow angels since I was a little kid. I don't see any which sucks because we don't have any more really good holes. So I'm headed to my best area and I noticed these two holes off to the side that we didn't drill. He's coming, he's coming. They are tiny and grossly marked by someone's cigarette butts, which reminds me, man, if you love the great outdoors, don't be a litter bug. But anyway, now as the clock is ticking down, check this out. Yeah, oh my gosh. Dude, we got a big one. <laughs> this one is heavy. We got a big one. Yes. Got a big one. We got a big one. Yes. Got a 
and take one. Oh my. Please stay on there. It doesn't matter if I'm fishing for a hundred grand or ten bucks. Please stay on there. This right here is what it's all about. Oh, we got this little tiny hole too. Our holes are eight inches. It's a big one, dude. These are like four inches. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, and he came off. He just came off. Did you see that? Is that a, is that a, I don't know. He's gonna be real close. Look at that. Big one. Okay, so we gotta call him. Okay, so as soon as I get this one in my hand, someone tells us that the new size to beat is 11 and 3 eighths. Hello. Jerry. Yeah. It's the professional. What do you got? A big crappie. Big. I, uh, I don't have a measuring thing, but it's well, open. I'll, I'll just come out to you. Okay, you know where we are. Yeah, okay, we'll be right out. Okay, doke, see ya. Right. How exciting is this? Jerry's coming out to measure this fish, and it's very close to being the biggest one so far. You think it's big enough? I'm talking to you. Okay, here we go. Yikes, this is gonna be close. <gasps> I see a 12. Oh yeah, the only problem it's not over yet. We got too much time. Can we call this tournament over at four? <laughs> huh? Shouldn't it be over at four? No, it ain't over. We got to catch a 13. Wait, is he the biggest one now? So far here. Yeah. Can you believe that? You want to do snow angels? Amazing. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh, about a foot and a half. No, 40. 40? Yep. Yeah. On a VMC tungsten jig. Was that luck or was that on skill? I don't know. I like to say skill. Yeah. She asks good questions. I mean, I'm obviously going to say it's skill, right? But I believe we make our own luck. We had the right game plan, the right attitude, and the best equipment to give us an edge. Luck, skill, a little of both. Who cares? We could win this derby. How many people are in the derby? Oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta keep moving, that's the deal. Okay, good luck, we'll see ya. Donkey dokey, thank you. How much is it, a couple thousand? The, the, white, the white figures all that out. I let her figure out the categories and where the money, you know, $100 street, you never know. Ooh, that hundred? I thought it was 2,000. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to get Mark in the game. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. oh, feels like a good one. Kirk, he's got a big one. Is that a big one? It's a good one. Oh, man. Would totally love to see my buddy catch a pig. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to give you a run for your money. <laughs> but I hope not. keep it under 12 inches, would you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at He's almost as big. Another slaunch. But I think I'm safe. Look at that. We got two giants. Mine's bigger. I don't know, man. Definitely. I don't know. No contest. We don't want to call Jerry again. <laughs> 12 and an 8. 12 and a half. Yeah, no contest. Nice wow. one. That was cool, it's not though. Over yet. Two big it's ones. Over. How much time do we. Hey, Kirk, how much time do we have now? 420. It's 420? Yeah. So we got not very much time. Temperature's dropping, wind's starting to blow. What an awesome day. Canadota's a pretty good lake and it wasn't the best fishing conditions but we still got a pile of crappies awesome day jerry and his crew really did a tremendous job today so i have a feeling we'll be back now we gotta hop in the truck drive around the lake and make it official congratulations you're the 2019 crappy winner for the ice fishing tournament awesome congratulations i've never been a crappy winner before okay. you are today all right, well, we're wrapping it up. It was a pretty fun day out there. We got to fish Canadota. Haven't ice fished out here in probably, I don't know, six or seven years. I used to live in Union City. We used to come out here quite a bit. Went to the exact same area, just drilled a million holes out there and just kept looking around. And uh, we had a blast today. It was fun and it was good because um, you know, we got to meet some really cool people out there today. There you go. Thank you. Jerry and everybody at Timberland Bait was really cool today. Um, all the guys out there fishing around us, everybody's trying to help each other. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool for everybody to be in a tournament. It's usually a cutthroat situation. 
we're heading home. It's starting to rain, big windstorm coming. Getting out of here just in time. Let's get going. I mean, the fishing is so fun. And then to be rewarded with this, dang. Look at that. Nothing better. Quick and easy. This can of Dota catch goes straight to Gramps' plate. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're frying up fresh crappies for Gramps. Gonna go surprise him. This is his favorite thing to eat. Here's the game winner right here. That's a $50 filet right there. Grampy, we just want to come look at you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I looked at you, goodbye. <laughs> what you see is what you get. Oh, oh my goodness, look at that, Char. Did you ever hear of Canada? Oh yeah, sure. The lake? Yes. These are where those, that's where we caught these fish. Oh. Is it good? I didn't taste it yet. She loved it. Turns out Gramps and Shar were the real crappy winners. See you next week.